Hi, I'm Laura from Meadowlark Violin and welcome to my studio. I get a lot of questions from people that are interested in learning the violin and it generally starts off with something like this. I am X number of years old. Am I too old to start learning the violin? Or am I too late? Or what's the best age to start learning the violin? Well, the short answer is no, you are not too late to start learning the violin. And what's the best age to learn the violin? However old you are. I think I have a special authority to be able to say this because I started learning the violin not when I was five, not when I was 10, not when I was 13. I started learning the violin when I was 15 years old. And in the next three years, I went from learning, knowing absolutely nothing about the violin to auditioning and getting accepted and getting scholarships for several university music programs. So I feel like I can say that it's never too late to pursue whatever dream you have with playing the violin. A lot of people told me, you're too old, there's no way you could play catch up, don't even try, you're foolish to attempt it. And I didn't listen to any of those people because I knew what I wanted to do. And I'm happy with it. I'm actually happy I started that at that age because it's made me a better teacher. I have something to offer my students that I honestly feel like no other violin teacher can because of my unique perspective and my unique approach to teaching the violin and learning the violin. So I'm not sad that I started late at all and neither should you be because an adult has a unique perspective. You have this mindset and this history that's going to allow you to have your own special journey with the violin. Let me talk to you about a couple advantages I think adults have in learning the violin. First off, you have what I call a discerning ear. Okay. You've been listening to music your entire life, and there's a good chance if you want to learn the violin, you've been looking at YouTube videos of violinists and fiddlers for probably a while now. Well, children actually don't have that discerning ear. This took me a while to learn as a teacher that young children, even young adults in their teenage years, they don't always know what it sounds like to sound good. <laughs> they aren't on YouTube constantly searching Beethoven Violin Concerto, Mark O'Connor. They're not listening to this all the time. So they actually, they don't even have any reference to know what they should sound like. So I have to teach them, this is what you need to sound like. This is, this is the goal, this is what you wanna do. But as an adult, you already have that. You know what the goal is, you know what you wanna sound like. And that is an incredible asset. It takes a long time to teach that to children. You've already got it right out of the bat. Now it can also be a curse in a way because you're always beating yourself up. But remember, it's an asset. It's not a curse, it's going to help you progress faster. So don't beat yourself up, use it to your advantage. Another advantage that adults have is that they know music theory better, they can understand it better, they can understand it quicker, they can understand these concepts and how to apply them to the violin. A lot of young people, they're really not interested, honestly, their eyes kind of glaze over and they don't really understand why it's so important. But adults do, adults come with questions and adults come to lessons being very excited and motivated. And that's something that is hard to teach a lot of children. Now, I should say there are rare exceptions with children that do all of these wonderful things, but it is rare. Adults also have a very analytical mind, right? That's how you've gotten through life by analyzing things. Should I do this? Should I do this? This isn't working. How do I get from it not working to it working, right? That's how we go through our entire lives. And you can use all of those skills that you've learned your entire life about how to analyze things playing the violin. You, you already know how to do things, how to start at a beginner level and go to an advanced level. It might not be an instrument. It could be learning to use Word or learning to use a computer. I guess if you're older, I know the children these days, if you're in your 20s, you probably uh, grew up doing that, but we're always learning skills. You know how to learn a skill. The violin is just learning a skill kind of times a million, right? Because there's a lot of skills that go in with it. But you can use that analytical mindset to learn the violin, make a lot of progress in a relatively short amount of time. Now I've got three tips or three words of advice that I wanna to give to 
anyone that's starting the violin as an adult. The first one is get a good practice routine and stick with it, okay? Don't just do a little bit of this and a little bit of that and a little bit of this and change it up every single day. You're not really going to make progress that way and you're going to get frustrated because you never feel like you're making any progress. And, and honestly, you're, the progress you're making is so small that you're, you're probably not making the progress at all because you're, you're never really sitting on one thing for long enough and kind of mastering it and getting comfortable with it. So I've got a whole nother lesson on how to set up a great practice routine and stick with it. So I'll put a link to the description below. Number two piece of advice, do not compare yourself to others. This is so easy as an adult. It's so easy nowadays with YouTube, with all of the violin progress videos. We can really get jealous of people that have made a ton of progress in a short amount of time. And we really beat ourselves up because we're not like that. Let me give you a piece of advice that my violin teacher gave to me in high school that I have always carried with me. She told me there is always going to be someone younger and prettier than you that can do whatever you do twice as well. And she was so right. <laughs> whatever circle you get into, whatever hobby you get into, whatever career path, there's always someone younger and prettier that does whatever you do twice as well. Okay, now you can either just give up and not ever try anything, or you can think of it this way, that you have your own contribution that is totally unique. You have your own set of skills, your own background, your own perspective and approach that you bring to the table. You are unique. Don't compare yourself to others. There's always gonna be people better than you. So don't compare your others. You're on your own journey. If you're learning the violin at a certain rate, that's fine. There are always gonna be people learning the violin faster than you. There's always gonna be people learning the violin slower than you. You stick with what works for you. Listen to other people. It's very important to be encouraged by other people that are playing better than you and listen to people that aren't playing quite as well as you. You're gonna learn a lot from both ends of the spectrum, but you just gotta remember, keep it all in perspective. You are on your own unique journey. And last of all, I want you to consider that there is no end to mastering the violin. You are never going to reach a point where you say, okay, yep, check, done, learn the violin, on to the next thing. No, that's what's beautiful about this instrument is because there is no end to it. No matter how well you play, you're always gonna be learning more things, how you can do things better. There's always more songs to learn, more styles to learn. It never ends. So don't get in this rush feeling like, oh, I'm behind, I'm late. I've gotta push forward to where I can get to this one point. That, that point doesn't exist in time, okay? So don't feel rushed. Okay, take your time to learn the violin. You've got to learn to, I know this is a cliche, but enjoy the journey. You, you do have to learn how to take joy from small steps and little bitty accomplishments and little bitty progress. When you do that, that's what's gonna give you a great joy with playing violin. Now, this isn't to say that you shouldn't have goals. You should definitely have goals and work towards goals, but make sure they are manageable goals. Make sure you're not beating yourself up trying to achieve something that can't even be achieved. Okay, set manageable goals, but also don't be in a rush. There, there's no end to this. So I hope that kind of helps you and gives you some encouragement. If you're an adult beginner, I've been exactly where you are. I know what you're going through. I know that constant doubt that gets into your mind, and I also know how to get over it. And I want to encourage you today, stick with it. It is so worth it. If you're frustrated, take your time. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna get through it. And you're going to love learning this beautiful instrument. Enjoy the journey and have fun practicing. I'm Laura from Metabolic Violin. 